Hello everyone! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Darian and today I have a special guest. You may remember her from my past video. <laughs> From the classic video. <laughs> yeah, I'll link it up above. This is my best friend Kylie. Hi. <laughs> and today I am doing a part two to my famous SpongeBob video. Part two. Part two. <laughs> part, two. part two. Part two. Part two. Part two. Part two. So this time Kylie is going to tell me her favorite SpongeBob episodes, and I am going to have to think of a book to recommend on the spot. So it'll be fun. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> And yeah, I'll leave my other Spongebob video linked up above because it's probably my favorite video I've ever done. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> so yeah, obviously we're both Spongebob con connoisseurs, <laughs> if you will. If you will. <laughs> Spongebob is our life. Yeah. So we know a little thing or two. Without further ado, let's just get into the first episode. Okay. These aren't in any particular order. Okay. okay? All right. <laughs> first on the list. <laughs> It's a classic episode called No Weenies Allowed. Oh. <laughs> uh-huh. But I'm not a weenie. I'm sorry, sir, but my sensors indicate that you are indeed a weenie. Now for all of you out there <laughs> who don't know this episode. So basically, SpongeBob has to prove himself to be not a weenie so that he could get into this cool club where you have to be like super strong. I'm just gonna start looking on Goodreads. <laughs> I'm not on my phone. So, <laughs> he works hard the whole time trying to prove himself that he's <laughs> that he's strong. Mm -hmm. But um, he ends up going in and slipping on an ice cube and getting <laughs> getting sent to Weenie on General. Oh God! What a what a guy! A I know I did use this one in my other video, yeah, but I don't remember what I oh I don't remember what I recommended. So let me. Let me look at what I've read. I'm sure it's the age-old story. <laughs> Boinies. <laughs> okay, I thought of one. <laughs> so the book I'm going to recommend is Nevermore by Jessica Townsend. Where am I going to put the pictures? In the middle? Here it is. <laughs> because the story of Nevermore is that it follows a girl named Morgan Crow, and her whole life she's been told that she's going to die on her 11th birthday. But then instead of dying, this guy named Jupiter North comes and whisks her away to the land of Nevermore. But then she is entered in these trials, and everyone is supposed to have like a talent. I can't remember what they call it in the book. But she's supposed to have a talent, but she doesn't have one. So she's like, well, I gotta prove myself uh -huh. and find my talent. Mm -hmm. And I feel like there's other stuff that happens that are spoilers, mm -hmm. <laughs> but that go with this episode. She slips on an ice cream. <laughs> Maybe. Spoiler alert. <laughs> so I feel like that one fits. I wouldn't call her a weenie, but... <laughs> Wrong with being a weenie? Yeah, SpongeBob's a weenie. Yeah, so okay. I think that one fits. Yeah, she proves herself. I I feel confident in that. <laughs> Good. Okay. Okay, moving on. Number two. Number two. It's a little episode I like to call. <laughs> it's called Missing Identity. Oh. <laughs> we just watched this yeah. the other day. Yeah. Um, so Oh god, what am I gonna think? So, um, basically, <laughs> Spongebob sitting in a cafe. <laughs> we all know all the alone. meme. Yeah. I lost something once. <laughs> uh-huh, set the scene. He oh no, I lost my pen. You can borrow mine. Thanks. I lost something once. So he woke up one morning, was doing his normal routine, you know, feeds Gary, most important meal of the day. <laughs> and then really says hi to Patrick, way, but... you know, does his whole thing, and he gets to work. And there's an inspection today, but <laughs> this lady is like, excuse me, sir, I didn't get your name. <laughs> and he's like, are you kidding me? I have a name tag. <laughs> Are you kidding And me? then she's like, your name tag's not there. And it turns out he lost his name tag. So he spends the whole day retracing his steps, trying to find his missing name tag, and it turns out that it was um, on the other side of his pants. <laughs> so, I'm sure this will be easy. I thought of one, but it's a bit of a stretch. Okay, let's hear it. Mm, should I go for that one? <laughs> I'm just gonna go for it. Yeah. My first instinct. Okay. <laughs> 
So the book, because obviously when I say the name, everyone will be like, ah, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the book that I'm going to recommend is... <laughs> oh, God. Is One Day in December by Josie Silver. Here's the picture. <laughs> so you might be thinking, how the heck <laughs> does this have to do with that episode? So One Day in December is about this girl named Lori, and she's on the bus one day. And at, at one of the stops, she looks out the window, and there's a guy sitting there, and they lock eyes. <laughs> and then he's like, oh my god, I must meet this girl. So he runs to the bus, but the door's closed just as he gets there. And so they kind of had this, like, passing moment of, like, love at first sight, whatever. And then she spends the next year trying to find this bus boy. Oh. And then, a year later, she goes to her friend's party, her best friend's party. I should <laughs> emphasize that. Her best friend <laughs> is like, hey, I'm gonna introduce you to my new boyfriend. Oh. And guess who it is? <gasps> it's the, the guy from the bus. <laughs> and he pretends that he doesn't recognize the Lori. So Lori has to, she doesn't want to tell her best friend that she knows her boyfriend. Well, knows that she fell in love with him. <laughs> So then they spend the next like 10 years getting into shenanigans. Mm. So the reason uh -huh. <laughs> I recommend getting in <laughs> is because she feels like she lost something, but it was there all along. Okay. You know? Yeah, yeah. She lost him, but then he's still in her life, mm -hmm. but she can't have him. Okay. Right. So it's like, it's he's funny. the he name tag yeah. on the back of the pants. Yeah! <laughs> he thought he lost the name tag, Yeah. But just turn around, and there it is. Yeah. The whole time. I think it works. I think it's good. <laughs> that works. She lost something once. I lost something <laughs> once. So that's my answer. Okay. Final answer. I like that. Thank you. <laughs> Next, mm -hmm. we have a little episode called Walking Small. Oh. This episode mm -hmm. is just basically about Plankton came and he saw Spongebob getting walked walked all over on. Oh, it's this episode. <laughs> walked yeah. all over on, yes. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Yes. <laughs> so he spends the day trying to teach Spongebob how to be more assertive. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's the that, one that's like... That's basically it. In, not insertive. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> like, maybe. No, no, be assertive. Beep, beep. Not insertive. Mm. And it's also the one where he's like, Step on the beat. Step on the beat. Like, you can't just let people walk all over you like stairs. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. Somebody was just like, oh. A little boy. A little boy. Just about a little boy. A little boy. Yeah. Quite literally. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go with my gut. Okay. My gut instinct. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> I think it could fit. I trust you. Ahem. <clears throat> so the book I'm gonna recommend is An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir because now I'm not gonna try to explain this book <laughs> because I always do such a bad job of explaining it. But basically, the reason I'm recommending it is we have our char one of our main characters, Laya, and she has to go undercover at the commandant of this like military school, and she becomes her slave to find out information about where her brother is because he was taken. So she is very like scared and not very tough, but like in order to get information for it to help her brother, she has to stay alive. And the commandant kind of tortures her. <laughs> yeah. Which is kind of like... <laughs> like how Plankton treats Spongebob. Yeah. <laughs> she has to, like, find it within herself right. that she knew is there all along okay. to, to survive uh -huh. so that she can save her brother. Be like, Spongebob wants to save his dignity? <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Something like that. Okay, yeah. You, you know. You. <laughs> if you've read it, I'm sure you can make yeah. the connection. You all know. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> That's the best I can I do. Can see. Thanks. Is this the fourth one? Yeah, fourth one. Okay. Okay, number four. <laughs> no particular order. <laughs> it's called I Had an Accident. 
Mm -hmm. So what happens is, I don't remember exactly, I think <laughs> Spongebob hurts his butt or something. Something, Spongebob what? got into an accident. Uh huh. I think they were like surfing on something with Sandy. Uh huh. And <laughs> I'm having visions. And so he, he's like afraid of the outside world. So he ends up. Oh yes, yes, He ends yes. up staying in his house. Right, right, right. And then right. he has like you know a penny and yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and a napkin. I know of a place <laughs> where you never get far. I know of a place where you never get harmed. A magical place with magical charms. Indoors, indoors, indoors. Take it away, Penny. And then is there a gorilla? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the gorilla right, right. Mm hmm. Hmm. Indoors. <laughs> Indoors. Take it away, Penny. Yeah. And Penny has the most beautiful voice. Hmm. It's a story about me. <laughs> Bo Burnham inside. <laughs> oh my god. So true. Quack. I don't think that was. <laughs> Okay, this one, once again, is a bit of a stretch, <laughs> but I just read this book, so it's fresh in my mind. So the book I'm going to recommend is The Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang. Oh, I read that. You did? Yeah. Oh my god, did you like that? <laughs> I'm trying to think of the connection. <laughs> okay, because, okay. listen, you'll, you'll, it'll be clear as day. <laughs> so it's about this woman who has always had trouble in social situations and in relationships because she has autism and her parents are like, you gotta find a husband, <laughs> chop chop. And so she's like, oh, what am I gonna do? Because all her experiences with men have not ended well and she always thought it was herself that was the problem, but it was actually all the men who were the problem because they didn't respect her and treat her properly. So, <laughs> so she ends up hiring a male escort to teach her how to have sex, basically. <laughs> and then she realizes, oh, not all men suck, because he actually treats her properly. Okay, wait, I'm trying to... <laughs> <laughs> I was with you and then I lost you. Trying to bring it back to the point. Okay, so she was afraid to get into relationships yeah. because of all these bad experiences that she had with men. And she just assumed that it would never work out because she thought she was the problem. But then she finds this guy who's respectful and is actually a nice person. So she learns that... She can go outside, uh -huh. <laughs> the metaphorical outside, uh -huh. which is her dating, because just because she had bad experiences doesn't mean it'll happen again, Right. and it doesn't mean she's the problem. Mm -hmm. Like, Spongebob's not always going to get hurt when he goes outside. Except <laughs> that he did, because then the girl... Listen. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, okay. yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I see it. I think. <laughs> it's perfect. I think so, Flawless. Too. Okay, last one. Last one. Lay it on Okay, me. this one you probably had this in your other video. Okay. It's called Something Smells. <laughs> what is this one? So... <laughs> Let me tell you, it's a I classic. So. Oh, it's uh, the ugly. <laughs> yeah. I don't so, think I had this one. You didn't? I don't think so. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, let me start looking. I don't remember what he ate, but some sort of type of onion thing. Oh yeah, he put like all his. Yeah, he made like, a Sunday. Yeah, he oh, a Sunday. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, he made this like, disgusting Sunday. Mm -hmm. SpongeBob did, by the yeah. way. We're talking about SpongeBob. Yeah. <laughs> and he Please. ate it, and it right. made his breath stanky. Right. Obviously. Right, right. So whenever he tried to talk to people or interact with people, they were like, ooh, nasty. <laughs> <laughs> so he thought that it was because he was ugly. Yeah. So he kind of spent the episode learning to accept the ugliness. I'm ugly and I'm proud. You yeah. might be familiar. Yeah, right. <laughs> and then it turned out he realized it was just his breath. Mm -hmm. And then he's not ugly. Oh, and the and it, and Patrick, I think Patrick's the one who said it's because he's ugly yeah. because he couldn't smell it because he doesn't have a nose. Oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when they go to the movie and he's like, I'm sorry, <laughs> yeah. my horrible ugliness, something, something. Distracts you. Yeah. And not he's at like, all. Not, not at all, boy. Excuse me, sir. 
I hope my horrible ugliness won't be a distraction to you. Not at all, boy! What a beautiful story. Yeah, truly <laughs> one for the ages. <laughs> Okay, here's the thing. <laughs> oh god. I have one, but I actually I haven't actually read this book. <laughs> but I've seen the movie. And I feel like that means that I'm qualified. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cuz I I assume the movie is similar to the book. Yeah, because movie adaptations of books are always. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, yeah, I'm going to go with okay. it. <laughs> So the book I'm going to recommend, which I have not read, mm -hmm. <laughs> is Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens oh, Agenda, okay. which is also, okay. the movie is Love, Simon. Mm -hmm. Have you seen the movie? Yeah. yeah. I do love you, love do you see where yeah, I'm going? Yeah, I see it. Okay. <laughs> so the reason is because during the movie, or during the book, of course. <laughs> that you read? <laughs> uh, yeah, that I read with my eyes. <laughs> so Simon is like coming to terms with the fact that he's gay, but he's afraid to come out. And so he kind of starts pushing his friends away from what I remember. And he kind of acts like a dick <laughs> to his friends. Mm. And so he ends up kind of pushing them away and they're all mad at him. But the reason they're mad at him is because he was mean to them, not because he's gay. <laughs> But like he is so afraid to tell them, but then the end result is the same because he was not nice to them. This is what I'm remembering right. anyways. I saw the movie a long time ago. So it's kind of like <laughs> Spongebob thinks that everyone's avoiding him because he's ugly, but it's actually because he smells bad. So it's like his friends, he just assumes that they would avoid him because he's gay, mm -hmm. but it's actually because he wasn't nice to them. <laughs> okay. I think that's what happens in the movie. <laughs> right. I don't remember, but yeah. And I would assume it's the same in the book. Uh-huh. So, that's what I'm going with. I think it was good. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Do you accept that? I accept okay. it. Okay. Yeah, I think that was good. Okay, so. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So there you go. If you love these episodes, then maybe you should check out these books. Because it's my reasoning is foolproof. Right. And let me know down below what's your favorite SpongeBob episode. <laughs> yeah. I would love to know. Because I love SpongeBob. <laughs> Throw a SpongeBob quote down there. Yeah. <laughs> your favorite SpongeBob quote. Yeah. Mine is what is it? I anything can Can't do, do it right it since because, because pickles. pickles. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite SpongeBob? Oh, God. <laughs> I'm on the spot. Putting you up. Yeah. <laughs> your picture yeah <laughs> yeah that's a good one let us know your favorite <laughs> spongebob quotes down below and thank you kylie for joining me anytime yay yay maybe we'll even do a part three who knows let us know if you want a part three <laughs> we know you want it <laughs> and yeah thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys soon with another video soon bye, bye. bye.